Seattle City Light is proud to support Climate of Change. Easiest way to think about tidal power in the way that I think about it is like an underwater windmill. And the idea being that much in the same way as wind turbines, when they're exposed to a very strong wind, will spin and generate power, in locations where you have very strong, intense tidal currents, that same thing can happen underwater. So this is a, an image of, a, of an actual uh, tidal turbine uh, rotating, generating power. You have, you know, some sort of a support structure, uh, turbine probably three-bladed, a generator, a power cable that goes back to shore. I mean, all of them have the same components. Turning rotor, water flows, rotor turns, power is generated. Such systems already exist on the East Coast and in Europe. I'd like to start the source uh, at 9.30. Brian Polagi wants to help put one in the Pacific Northwest, near Port Townsend. We are working with a number of developers that have projects going on on the East Coast and the West Coast. We're particularly involved in a project up in Northern Admiralty Inlet. It's a demonstration project led by a local utility, uh, Snohomish County Public Utility District. That's one of our Sea Spider platforms there. It may take another couple of years for the demonstration project to get off the ground and into the water. Before you can place turbines underwater, you must understand what the environmental conditions are like. Where are the best currents? What impact will the rotors have on marine life? And the tool that we developed to, to look at this is something called a sea spider tripod. As it's lowered underwater, the sea spider surveys tidal currents and conditions. It has cameras and hydrophones that collect important data that is relayed back to shore. It's data that will eventually be shared with tidal power developers around the world. But the oceans are a, a tremendous source of renewable power. And so the reason the university is involved is because this is relatively early days in a, in a renewable energy. Not very much is known about it from the standpoint of the technology, the environmental effects, or the societal impact. And that's where university researchers have a great role to play in this in trying to really design what I would call truly sustainable marine energy systems. Brian says it's possible that someday in the near future, Remote communities in Alaska and other areas that have access to fast-flowing tidal currents could see this sort of technology generate power. The, the University of Washington research that comes out of this project uh, is going to be just absolutely world-leading in what we learn in terms of, of how marine animals interact with devices, the effects of sound, uh, the artificial reef effects. We're going to learn things that no one else in the world has ever been able to learn. And that's to us very exciting and that's a great reason to be at the University of Washington doing this type of work.